How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is where do you get your protein on a plant-based diet and I'm going to show what I ate in a day uh, recently. So if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of my new videos. Alright, so it's in the 20s today, it's really cool off, but just out here on a walk enjoying the fresh air and I wanted to make a video. So. If you're new to my channel, I make a lot of videos on what I eat in a day, a lot of recipe videos, a bunch of videos on my workout routines, I talk a lot about intermittent fasting, all these different topics, and I'm also doing fat loss, fitness, and wellness coaching and motivation, so if you're needing extra help on your wellness journey, just go ahead and email me, or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram, and I can help you out. All right, so surprisingly, this is still the number one question I get when people find out I eat a plant-based diet. They wonder, where do, they ask me, where do you get your protein? And it's pretty simple. Um, I, in my opinion, here's the best way to answer that question. First of all, I tell them, well, I feel great and I have plenty of muscle, so I'm obviously getting enough protein. Um, and I just explain that whole plant foods have all the necessary amino acids that the human body needs. So as long as you're eating um, you know, enough calories to maintain a healthy weight and you're eating mostly whole plant foods, you'll be getting all the protein that you need. So that's pretty much it. As long as you're eating enough calories and you stick to mostly whole plant foods, you'll get all the protein you need. Um, the only way, I, in my opinion, or that I know that you'd not get enough protein is if you weren't eating enough calories or if you were eating too many processed foods. So that's why you want to you know, limit the processed foods, stick to whole plant foods as much as possible, and you should be getting definitely all the protein you need. All right, so um, that's pretty much it with that, and here's what I recently ate in a day. So this was about an eight hour window. I started off at 11 a.m. and I finished it around 7 p.m. So at 11 a.m. I put together this smoothie. I had two bananas, a few tablespoons of chia seeds that were soaked, about a cup of blueberries, a couple big handfuls of spinach, get some greens in there. I had a scoop of Marcus Roscrans Green Pro C mix and some water. And that's a great way that I like to start it with a smoothie. And there it is. Enjoyed that at 11 a.m. And back soon with what's next. All right, and then a couple hours later, I made a peanut butter banana sandwich on some Dave's bread and had some walnuts and an apple. So that was around, I think around 1 p.m. And then a little later on from there, I had a salad. It had pine nuts, apples, celery, tomatoes, avocados, cucumbers, and greens. And lately, I haven't been using dressing. I just cut that all up and it tastes really good. So that was in the afternoon, and then around six o'clock, I went to a Mexican food restaurant. I ordered some tortillas, and I told them, do not put any oil on there, and that was nice. And I had guacamole with some salsa, and I used the tortillas instead of chips. It's a great alternative, um, just some warmed up tortillas. And then I had some veggie tacos, same thing. These were just different veggies that I had. They had sweet potatoes and some onions and things like that, some avocado. So, and then I had an apple. So thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.